All right, Guardians, so the first thing you've got for should you choose to accept it, part three is return to the Archimedes Annex and download the new Cryptographic Index. So if you go to your map and you come over here to the far right-hand side, you're gonna have Operation Archimedes. So we're gonna jump in here, find the Cryptographic Index, which likely is just gonna be at the end of the mission. And then we'll probably go to a Lost Sector and then head in to the Operation. But let's see where it is in Operation Archimedes first. All right, once you kill the ogre in the bottom of Operation Archimedes and you got your little orb, place it right up here to activate the, I guess, bunker armor or whatever it's called. And we should be good to get our cipher. And there it is. So we got our cryptographic index and now we're gonna go to the EDZ for further instructions. All right, now that we're on the EDZ, we need to complete patrols and defeat combatants. Best thing I can tell you guys to probably do is just go to good old Trossland down here in the corner. You got a couple lost sectors, so you don't have to fight anybody for enemies to look for to kill. And if there's a couple good patrols on the way, there's usually easy patrols on EDZ. So like this one right here, probably one I would go for, especially around here, because one, the like star, you're going to go to another area, the timer kill. So this one's just kill enemies, so you may as well do that, and we'll just kill enemies as we go. But I'm just going to run into a couple of the Lost Sectors, knock this out, and I'll see you guys when we're done. Alright, we are at 99%, so I just need to go shoot one guy. Should have one right in here somewhere. And that should do the next step of the quest. Look at the dead drop in the Terminus East Lost Sector in Trossland. So, yeah, looks like we're in the right place. And the Terminus East is going to be the one over here on the right-hand side of this area from the spawn point. So Terminus East, we're likely just going to have to clear out the Lost Sector, and it should be tucked in the back of the Lost Sector they usually are. So I will see you guys after I clear this thing out. Right down in here. And once you've killed your fallen captain, uh, you're going to have your chest right here in the Lost Sector, and then your little hockey containers just to the right of it. So here is our cipher. We're going to go ahead and enter it back up because they do tend to explode because I've killed myself on one of those before and now we're going to go into the Operation Seraph Shield on Legend Difficulty and find the weapon schematic. Now one thing I did learn from some testing of people this week if you get to this point in the quests on any of the previous ones because there's theoretically going to be four of these there are four exoframes all together in Operation Seraph Shield. And to my understanding, you actually can acquire the four all in one run. So if you get to this point on all four of these, like next week we'll have the fourth one. If you get to this point and then you finally put together one legend run and run through them all, it seems like you should be able to pick up both of them. So if anybody can confirm that for me in the comments, if you do test that, let me know. But if you are struggling trying to find a, a group for Legend, maybe wait till next week. You should have all four of them if you haven't done any of them yet, because you can get all the quests to this step and then do them all at the same time. But I'm going to jump into Seraph Shield, figure out where the exo frame is with the schematic, and I'll show you guys where it's at, and we'll wrap it up. All right, when you're on the part of Operation Seraph Shield where you have to find the schematic... Once you get to the room with the big brig fight, you actually don't have to complete it to get the schematic, but you do have to complete the whole mission, obviously, to get it. But once you're here, before you start anything, just turn over here to the right, grab your little exo frame down here on the ground, and this will be our sch schematic this week. Now I'm going to go finish the mission, and I'll see you guys at the end. All right, so now the mission is over. We're going to upload the virus, and we should get catalyst number three, which is outlaw, I think. And there is outlaw retro refit. Uh, outlaw refit and hunter's trace four. So the weapon should be as powerful stats-wise as it's going to get. And we've also got the third of four catalysts. And next week, we should get the final one. Let's get back to orbit, and we'll wrap this up. So yeah, this pretty much wraps it up. Um, definitely make sure you visit the Enclave. It's cheap to boost this thing up to Hunter's Trace 4, so your stats should be basically maxed out. 83 range, 97 stability is nuts. Um, you can go a little more handling, a little less stability. Pretty much all into stability. This will help with recoil control, but will drop handling a little bit, so that's going to mess with the recoil direction um, for fitted stock. And then the greatly increased handling speed, if you just prefer handling and think it's stable enough, you can get a boost there. So the stocks are open. 
I'm going to throw Outlaw on there for now. I think that'll be the way to go personally for most situations. Um, four times the charm is going to be next week, and that's going to be more of a PvE thing, especially when you pair four bullets in the alternate fire mode, which would actually turn into six with this perk if it works the way I think it will. So that's everything for Revision Zero this week. If you enjoyed the video, uh, one more next week. So hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell if you haven't, so you don't miss that one. If you want to find me on Twitter or Twitch, I'm Ebontis over there. Um, drop a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next week and also for more videos this week. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.